Hi, Linda Bowney here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. It's Friday and Technique, and also our last chance sale is still going on, so I want to highlight um, some of those products, and I'm going to be using the Garden Wishes a stamp set. This stamp set was originally $22. It's now on sale for $13.20, and I'm also going to be using the... Um, um, mask, the basic pattern mask. I have not used mask very um, often, so I'm going to show you a fun technique done with that. I'm first going to take a piece of very vanilla. I'm going to take um, that Garden Wishes um, stamp set, the dandelion. I'm going to ink it up with my Memento Black ink. It looks like I got a little ink on the side of this. I'm going to try to wipe that off. I don't want to get any black where I don't need it. And we are going to stamp that dandelion. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my blends and color in. I'm going to be using my Just Jade. Of course this is an in color that is going out. We're going to just go in and color you know, it's better to use the wide tip on the the bigger leaves. You know that I am not a gal that really likes to color, but the blends just really just do that. They blend the color so nicely. Um, and I can shadow if I want, but I'm just going to kind of fill this in and just go in and highlight with some of the darker color. So again, this is the Just Jade. Retiring normally blends are um, $9. Uh, the Just Jade is 20% off the blends um, because of the last chance sale. So they are in sale for $7.20. Great way to add some blends uh, to your collection if you do not have this color before it retires. Kind of a softer green. Um, not real dark, but um, more on the evergreen side, I would say. Like I said, I'm going to go in with my darker and just add some streaks of the darker shade. I could blend more, but this will just add some highlights of the dark. Then I'm going to go in with, see I missed a little stem there. I'm going to go in with my So Chaffron. Just add some lighter in there the center of the big and then the daffodil I'm going to this is the the dark daffodil and I'm just going to go around the outside edge of that flower again if you like to color you can surely do more blending um, than I do but I really like how simple that makes it. I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of paper. Like I said, I've got my masking. I have taped it to just a piece of cardboard. And what I'm going to do is just create a soft border around my design. So I'm going to get my Just Jade um, ink pad and my blending brush. And I'm going to get some of that green and tap it off. And then I'm going to go in, and I see I've got my paper crooked. Because there is a design with this, I want to make sure that it's pretty straight. And I'm just going to go in and highlight around the edges. By having um, the tape on my mask, it kind of holds it in place. But this technique with our, our mask just make for a nice... border and again I'm just doing soft ink so that it kind of fades out but just gives an interesting border just a fun accent to the back of our card I'm gonna go in and add that to a piece of just jade my vanilla was four 
inches by five and a quarter. And then I just did my green just an eighth of an inch. So it's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So it just gives just a little hint of that Just Jade color around the edge. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my linen thread. Forget about my linen thread. Don't use it as much as I should. Um, it just adds just a little bit to a card and not much bulk. I think I'm gonna wrap it around one more time. I'm going to grab my scissors and just tie that in a square knot. I'm also going to be using the Bumblebee Trinkets. I think this is the one item that's going out of the annual catalog that really makes me sad. I love these little gold um, bumblebees. The name of my stamping group is Weeby Stamping, so that could be why I love the bees, but it also is just a little embellishment, not very um, thick, um, but just adds a wow. So we've got the card looking like so, but let's go in and add one of those bumblebee trinkets to our card. Oops, don't think I grabbed the glue dot. Let's push that down just a little bit more. There we go. And add that little bumblebee. Just adds a little something to that card. Hope you've enjoyed this technique with the masking and you give it a try real soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.